The ocean is a very large and fairly unknown part of our planet, and odd tales come from sailors about crewless boats. Coming up, enormous wrecks, disappearing crews, ghost ships, and more. Join us as we explore some of the most mysterious abandoned ships ever. The World Discoverer when you set out to explore a place that's shrouded in myth and legend, the journey might not treat your boat so well. The aptly named World Discoverer was a giant cruise ship that first left port in 1974 and was the first ship to ever cross the Northwest Passage successfully, doing what the fabled Titanic could not do. Now this may have been the high point of the ship's career, but on April 30th of 2000, this 208-foot ship struck a rock in a passage in the Solomon Islands. The captain dispatched a passenger ferry to get the guests and crew off of the sinking ship before it drove into Roderick Bay, where it still resides today. The ship was going in for maintenance and was scheduled to have luxury cabins installed, but instead it sits as a wreck in the bay and is deemed too large to salvage or even destroy. The High Aim 6 When a ship washes up on shore full of a cache of supplies but no crew, it's probably going to get people talking. The High Aim 6 was found 80 miles from the Rowley Shoals near Australia, just simply floating adrift, full of food, water, and gasoline, but with no one on board. With no record of a distress signal and no signs of foul play, the mystery gets deepened by the fact that most of the crew's personal effects were also left on board. The ship's motor was running when it was first seen, but by the time the High Aim 6 was boarded, the engine had died out. After being towed to dock, forensic evidence would show a more brutal tale. Now, present theories suggest a mutiny, and one member of the crew who was eventually tracked down by Taiwanese police said that 10 of the crew members killed the captain and engineer before turning the ship around. The High Aim 6 was a tourist destination at the dock, before being dragged to a local landfill. To this day, no one actually knows exactly why there was a mutiny in the first place. The Tainmouth Electron Traveling around the entire world by boat is an ambitious goal, and doing it solo might well be described as insane. However, this didn't stop the Golden Globe Race, a British sailing competition with that goal in mind. In 1968, Donald Crowhurst was one of the few men that entered into the race, and he set off in the Tainmouth Electron to circumnavigate the globe. A year later, the Tainmouth Electron was found floating in the North Atlantic. Now, according to the captain's log, the ship was found 10 days after its last entry. Crowhurst had a unique time in his contest and worked very hard to cheat, trying to win by nefarious means. A lengthy investigation showed that Crowhurst actually kept two logs, one with the real voyage and one with the false version. His goal was probably just to lie in wait while charting an imaginary route and then reappear at the finish line. It was incredibly complex mathematics, and he used reverse navigation over the period of months that, combined with his actual navigation, would cause Captain Crowhurst to go a little bit batty. Crowhurst never actually left the Atlantic due to mechanical issues, but he ended up writing lengthy essays on the meaning of life and the gap between the physical and the non-physical before throwing himself overboard. The boat would then be sold in Florida after the fraud was discovered. The Mary Celeste When it comes to mystery, sometimes it's best just to trust the classics. The Mary Celeste is probably the world's most famous abandoned ship, and its strangeness has lasted the test of time. It would be found adrift in the Atlantic in 1872, and all that was missing was a single lifeboat. In fact, three cabins were well stocked, and all of the crew and passengers' cargo was left untouched. There were no signs of struggle on board, but no one has ever been able to figure out what exactly happened to all of the people who were on the ship. Theories range from insurance fraud to sea quakes and water spouts, but the fact remains that this abandoned boat was one of the first ever to be considered a ghost ship. The Jian Singh It doesn't have to be an old-timey two-masted ship to be considered spooky and, well, haunted. 
The Jian Seng was just your run-of-the-mill oil tanker that was found abandoned off the coast of Australia in 2006. The tanker was found with its name painted over, and was difficult to identify. There were no documents on board, and the ship had been systematically stripped of everything that wasn't tied down. Now, the theory is that the ship was used to resupply fishing boats in international waters between Australia and Asia, because the only thing that was left on board was an immense quantity of rice. Theories would suggest that it probably broke down and was set adrift due to the cost of rebuilding. The salvage party that discovered the ship asserts that the tanker had been left adrift for longer than any that they had previously seen, and was discovered in rust and was barely seaworthy. However, it would get a happy enough ending. The Jian Singh was scuttled, which is to say, destroyed, but then was turned into an artificial reef for plant and animal life off the coast of Australia. The TT Zion Now, if you want to own a personal yacht, the odds are pretty good that you're going to have to be, well, rich. But wealth doesn't necessarily mean you won't end up as an integral part of a mystery. On June 20th of 2012, the TT Zion washed up on a beach in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, with its navigation lights on and its engine running. This 31-foot luxury yacht belonged to Guma Aguar, a multi-millionaire industrialist who spent his time between America and Israel. And of the man, there was no trace, and he was declared legally dead January 29th of 2015. His disappearance and the subsequent arrival of his unmanned boat have led to some interesting research and reports. Now, it is known that the day before he went missing, a federal court judge would rule that his mental health records would be presented to a court in a case between between him and his uncle. These records would show that he suffered from severe bipolar episodes and psychosis, and that he had been admitted into psychiatric wards numerous times. This court ruling may have been part of a deeper episode that Aguar would do anything to escape from. The American Star Sometimes the wreck of a ship can be as magnificent as the seaworthy version. The SS America Star was built in 1940 as a beautiful, gigantic ocean liner. The ship carried several names in her lengthy career of 54 years, and the America Star would begin her life as a passenger liner, but then was drafted into the Navy during World War II. In fact, there were two Nazi spies aboard the ship who worked as crew members of the mighty vessel. The America Star went on to carry Red Cross supplies, prisoners of war, and soldiers' families. The ship changed hands for vast amounts of money before eventually being wrecked off the coast of the Canary Islands. But oddly enough, the America Star was being towed to Thailand to become a five-star ship hotel, which would have been the first of its kind. While the hull may have been in condition enough for the costly venture, the ship as a whole wasn't exactly there. Being towed for 100 days from Greece to Thailand will just take it out of about any kind of boat and then a huge thunderstorm would snap the tow lines, sending the aging beauty adrift. Within 48 hours of the wreck, the ship was broken in half, and the rear portion would sink into the sea. The SS Valencia The SS Valencia was an iron-hulled steamer that was built in 1882. Then, in 1897, it was attacked by a Spanish cruiser during the Valencia's early war-torn days. However, that's not where the mystery begins. In 1907, the Valencia was wrecked off the west coast of Vancouver Island, tragically bringing the crew of 100 souls down with her. Then, some six months after the sinking, local Native Americans claimed that they saw one of the Valencia's lifeboats with eight skeletons drifting in a nearby cave. The cave entrance was then covered with a gigantic boulder, effectively blocking any kind of further investigation. The theory behind this is that the high tide had pushed the unfortunate lifeboat into the cave, but the local fishermen have also reported seeing a skeleton crew on a lifeboat, except that this version includes that the dead were actually rowing. The Cause 2 When it comes to misadventures, sometimes what happens at sea just should simply stay at sea. The Cause 2 was a catamaran that was crewed by three men on a pleasure voyage. When it was discovered near the Great Barrier Reef, there was no one on board, and no pleasure to be had. The mystery comes in when the maritime authorities entered into the boat. The Cause 2 had its engine running, 
a laptop open, and also an entire meal laid out just ready to be eaten. However, it was too cold to consume by the time they had arrived. After forensic investigation was concluded, it would be deduced that the three men fell overboard while attempting to untangle a fishing line. The Orang Madan If mystery is too terrifying, the best answer may be just to let it blow up and sink. This Dutch merchant ship was found floating through the Strait of Malacca in June of 1947. Two nearby cruisers would pick up a strange coded SOS saying, We float all officers including captain dead and ends with i die now if this isn't spooky enough for you when the crews finally caught up with the ship and boarded they found the deck littered with dead bodies the corpses were also all face up grinning and open-mouthed there was also no sign of a struggle or violence just dead bodies staring up at the sky and smiling and a dog was among those who were present. The plan was to tow the ghost ship back to port, but sometimes luck is just on your side at sea. A fire would break out on board and led to an explosion, which buried the cursed ship at the bottom of the ocean. The SS Valencia The SS Valencia was an American steamship, and it met its fate on January 20th of 1906 off the coast of Pachina Bay. The ship left with 157 passengers headed toward Vancouver Island and made its voyage safely. But upon its return trip, it was tragedy. As it sailed off the coast of Pachina Bay, the ship was 